working with real scientists on a real scientific project. For a mixed group of high school, bachelor and master students, this unique experience has come true with the MitoCart project. During their summer break, they joined a group of experts at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine of the University of Luxembourg to participate in a challenging project. To create a map of the biochemical processes taking place in the mitochondria. You cannot go through a list of 1,000 reactions with different data one by one and see what is happening there. It's really complicated. So what we are doing is like build a tool to in one second just visualize your output and directly see what is happening. Many biochemical processes take place in the mitochondria. They are the powerhouses of our cells, producing the energy the cells need to function properly in a multitude of ways. Deficient mitochondria can lead to severe disorders like Parkinson's disease. In the patient's brain, certain cells degenerate and die early on. This can be due, among other things, to a lack of energy supply from the mitochondria, leading to strong motor symptoms. Mapping the highly complex biochemical network in the mitochondria could help, for example, to identify bypasses to sustain the cell's energy supply. Just like taking smaller streets in a city when an important highway is blocked. Creating the mitocart involves complex computational work, as well as analyzing scientific literature. A rewarding challenge. Es hat sich auf jeden Fall gelohnt, auch diese Einblicke zu bekommen, wie, wie Biologie alles am Computer ablaufen kann oder wie man eben anhand dieses Projektes versucht, die, diese Prozesse etwas vorauszusagen. Every day, the young people have to find solutions for new questions. They have to work together as a team, and everybody is assigned tasks according to their level of education. Die Gruppe selber hat sich richtig gut verstanden. Also ich hatte gemeint, geht vielleicht ein bisschen Probleme gehen, dadurch, dass man das alles auf Englisch gelaufen hat. Aber es hört sich jeder rein auf und es war auch kein drinnen, den sich wirklich aus dem Gruppe entfernt hat. Also das war wirklich, wirklich gut. Das Projekt ist interdisziplinär. Insofern ist das einfach eine, eine schöne Möglichkeit für die Gruppe auch viele Erfahrungen zu sammeln, mit den Wissenschaftlern zusammenzuarbeiten, sich auszutauschen. Und ich denke, das ist eine einmalige Sache. For the participants, it's an excellent opportunity to get acquainted with scientific methods at an early stage in their education, helping them to decide whether they would like to become researchers and if this could be a career option after finishing school and studies. It was a very nice experience for me because we are a really good group with uh, different students of different, uh, with different backgrounds and a whole lot of different nationalities and uh, yeah, everybody was in good humor all the time and uh, it's nice to have a big group of people together so everybody can come with their knowledge and everything comes together, which is important in such a big project. So. It was really nice. The relationship I have with everyone is, uh, is something new to me and I really love all of them. They're really nice. It's very, um, you can learn from them because also uh, because they're students from university, they help us, we help each other. And I find that really, really good. For the LCSB, it is a great opportunity to get young people interested in various fields of modern biomedical research such as biochemistry, computational biology, and neurobiology. The students became members of the scientific team for two months and also learned more about the work in a lab. Here, a fully automated robotic device cultivates neurons over several weeks to better understand the chronology of the different symptoms of Parkinson's disease. 
The lab sessions are accompanied by presentation of current research topics. After two months of intense work, the results look very promising. 1,203 metabolic reactions and more than 400 signaling reactions are now represented on the mitochondrial map. The mitocart runs smoothly on the interactive touchscreen. Just some final tests have to be conducted and then it will be published online, accessible for the whole scientific community to facilitate further research into possible new treatments for Parkinson's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders. The mitocard has become reality thanks to a cooperation of the LCSB and the Scientines Lab with young prospective academics. A unique project and an innovative example of outreach of the University of Luxembourg. <laughs>